not moving on and ending it off with the performance. As I mentioned before, this iPad has an Apple 10 Fusion chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Now, I've mentioned this time and time again and I'll just continue saying it. iPads, iPhones, you don't need a ton of RAM to go ahead and keep these things going. And this iPad again is one of those iPads that handles, you know, whatever it has inside of it, it handles it extremely well. Now, first of all, performance wise, performance on this iPad is really good. It's very smooth and it is predictable. Now, I do kind of seeing it glitch up just a little bit. It's not really a tremendously crazy deal. I wish it was a little bit better here and there in terms of the animation speeds and all that, but it's still extremely smooth and I really don't have too many complaints when it comes down to the performance section in terms of that. Now, if you're trying to do like super heavy intensive games and stuff like that, one of my bigger problems with the Apple 10 Fusion chip was pretty much like super intensive gaming. The iPhones tend to get really hot. This iPad is one of those iPads that would get warmed up a little bit if you, you know, kind of push it to the limit. So that's another kind of minor thing to keep in mind. Again, maybe not a major deal for a lot of people, but it is one of those things that kind of keep in mind at the end of the day. So I think in terms of that standpoint, this iPad does kind of kill it. You know, I think it does a really good job in terms of the chipset that it has inside of it and the RAM and everything. It's definitely not the best, you know, performing iPad by any means. But I think if you're a student, if you're somebody who just kind of, you know, wants to use an iPad and maybe take notes, maybe, you know, write documents and all those different things, any cloud-based thing in my opinion that you're going to use whether you're a professional or whatever the case is i think you're going to be getting a really good performing tablet from this thing but i think on the other side as well if you're somebody who's doing some more intensive stuff i think these ipads can really get you super far as well the only problem is is if you're doing like very crazy video editing sometimes it can get a little bit of an issue but I've edited videos on iPads before. I know a lot of people who, you know, edit full time on these type of iPads and they, you know, say they just give high praise to these things. So I think that's a really awesome thing to keep in mind as well. So take it as you will, but that's pretty much how it kind of sum up the performance in this specific case. So.